All right, they're challenging me to try this onion thing. The onion. Wow. Oh, that's messy. <laughs> Stop following me, I'm joking. Oh, I think this is yours. It's springtime in Houston, and you know what that means. Crawfish season. You can't go anywhere in this town without seeing the boil going on in some form or fashion. We caught up with the guys from Go Crawfish to find out more about our favorite muddy crustacean. All right, so what makes a crawfish a crawfish? Like, what, what differentiates a crawfish between other crawfish? Um, basically the size. Uh, early on in the season, you'll get what people refer to as the peelers. They're small, they don't peel well, they're not that tasty. Um, but as you get later on into the season, so April, May, June, the crawfish actually mature. It takes about four months for them to mature. And you see in here, we have got some that look like baby lobsters. So you can eat the claws and they've, they've fully grown. They got juicy tail meat. That, that's what makes a special crawfish a crawfish. So apparently you're supposed to purge crawfish, but apparently that's sort of like in the balance too. Yeah, it's kind of a myth. Um, a lot of people think that you want a saltwater purge, but they're actually freshwater creatures. So putting them in salt water kind of kills them before you put into the pot to kill them. Okay. So really what you need to do is to make sure they're clean, you rinse them off. You put them in a cooler, open the spout, rinse them until that water's coming out clear. And that's how you know they're clear and good to go. Because to, to actually do the purging process, it's a full 24 hour process. Okay. So people don't usually have that kind of time or the proper materials to do it. So they just dump the salt water in. Okay, and then you just throw them in plain water and that's it, right? In plain water? Yeah, absolutely, right? <laughs> yeah, you can do plain water, but they won't be flavorful. Okay. You want to put some butter in there, put some onions, put some lemons, um, put your seasoning in the mix, get that boiling before you put the crawfish in it. Okay, and uh, after that, what do you do? Like you pull them out? So after so you cook them for about five minutes while the water's boiling, and then you shut the water off and they just soak there. When they soak, that's when they soak up that flavor. They get spicy, they get ready to eat. They soak for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending okay. on how hot you like them. We try to soak ours 15 minutes because Houston likes them hot. So is it the amount of time that you leave them in the water that makes them spicy or? Yes. Yeah, so What's it like a ratio of the amount of spice and water? Um, it, it does depend on what type of spice you use and how much spice you use, but really the longer they soak, the more they will take in that spice, whatever you've got in there. Okay. So the worst thing you can do is overcook them. You know, you don't want to cook them 10, 15 minutes. You want to soak them for 10, 15 minutes. You only want to cook them three to five. And they'll yeah. be good to go. Oh, yeah, I've had overcooked them. And it's like rubbery and it's just, yeah, yeah it's nah. Just, yeah. The last thing is uh, if people want to go to your website or go to your place, is there like yeah, information the, the for you? The best place to find us is on Facebook at Go Crawfish. Um, we also have a website, www.gocrawfish.com. Um, those are the, the main two. We post our weekly prices on our Facebook page. And, and then if they want to post their pictures, we always post fun pictures and stuff like that on there too. There's many ways to eat a crawfish. And apparently, I suck at every one of them. Let, let's see if I got it right. You already failed. How? All right, you'll show me. Damn, look at that. Eat it. You can't take away his claws. All right, really sensually now. <laughs> How good is that meat? Actually, that's that's that really <laughs> good. Actually. All right, so so what's with the head sucking? Like. I get nothing out of it. Oh, okay. Carry on eating All right, this is pretty big. That's what she said. <laughs> I know I'm not experienced. I'm not from this country. You're good. It should come right out. Blame it, on, blame it on the cook there. Uh, yeah, so this is about. So we got some crawfish, and let's see if I can do it this time. Grab this. 
Rip the claw. Oop. And then you just. Wiggle. Slowly. Suck! All right, let's try this one more time. Uh. Mother <laughs> Well, I guess practice makes perfect. Crawfish boils are a lot of fun. Whether you go to a bar, a restaurant, or if you have it in your backyard, just make sure you bring a whole lot of friends to help you peel a ton of crawfish.